once again i accidentally clicked that red button so i had to separate this video into two videos but it's okay here is um another look at the dressing room again and the um all the items that i haven't took out yet just if y'all wanted like a, a different look at those while they're still hanging up but i'm gonna put her in this outfit right here probably like with the bucket hat and another pair of boots and a purse okay this part right here the chain was simple i just slid the plastic underneath here and i'm gonna try to see what i can do so i can get this chain off okay i had to lift the flap and pull it right down and i'm glad i did look into it because i was about to rip it thank goodness and same thing with all of these fashion pieces and that i think they could actually work as bows these could work as like bracelets for the dolls because they clip on the ends they snap together or they also could wear it work as hair accessories like aren't they so cute okay i pulled the back and this little silver piece right here from behind the box and just like pulled it and just slipped it out this right here is actually a functioning clip for the doll's hair which is actually so cute as well like i am loving loving these pieces for a knockoff doll y'all this you just can't really get too much better than this like look at all of these accessories here's another look at this um her boots right here the ones with the blue they have like these little um around the blue strap they have like these little button like these little stud prints that are like the same color of the boots these right here i love them all though but these might just be my favorite because they just they give me like that modern like you know the newer my scene when they came back out and everyone had like different names and stuff this brush this comb brush thingy fish brush thingy i absolutely love it oh yeah and i'll just give y'all like a closer better look at the brush there's the flowers and the inside. It almost looked like this thing should say my scene or my style on it. <laughs> Probably my style, but you all get the drift. Now for the cute bucket hat, I just cut like some strings in the back. I think this would look really, really cute on the guys as well. I'm just going to sit this over here for now and show y'all like how this background is like looking right now just saving everything like so on point like why can't we get backgrounds like this anymore the rest of the clothing items really much just release from flaps like this so i'm just gonna kind of pull these off and just try to cut the tape so i can pull the outfits out at first i thought the shades were all the same like each color would be the same but they're all actually four different designs that i have seen in my scene like, and if you think I'm lying, like, look, this one has, like, the little, kind of, like, the aviator style with the square in the middle. And this one is just, like, you know, your flat. And these things could be painted and still look really cool. Like, if you really wanted to get into having them look different, different colors. This one's a lot thinner than this one here. This one here looks like the one that she was like really more traditionally known for wearing in the earlier Mycene days. They have like just a thicker rim. Can you all spot that difference there? Like, yes. Here's the locket box. It just opens up like this. You can put like so many of these little cute accessories in. I think this right here just gives everything just like the little flair. You know, it's got that signature My Style logo on it. And it's just like, it makes everything worthwhile. I'm still like in awe at all of these accessories and stuff. Like, wow. Okay, I've taken out the silhouette of her bathing suit. And it does look like she has like tinsel that's... um stitched in a little bit like a kind of like a blue green tinsel and also it does look like she has specks of glitter going along the see-through as well very very cute i do love this bathing suit and i don't think i would have ever been able to appreciate it as much as i did while it was in the box she has purple ribbon string straps and it is just very very cute very very early 2000s okay and last but certainly not least i got her her denim skirt off and her cute little ruffle crop top like aren't these pieces just so my scene like everything feels it looks like it is just straight up off of mattel's version i don't know the quality on this stuff might be 
don't get me wrong, my scene was definitely glory days of Mattel as far as quality goes, but this quality might be like a little better. This stuff is like Bratz quality. And y'all know like Bratz always had that edge over my scene as far as the quality of the department, but this stuff can really be compared to like Bratz quality. Seriously, y'all no lie. She has really, really tiny ear pegs. So I might like have to take something and make them like a little bit deeper because her earrings slip out really easy and they're tiny and they can r easily be lost. Now this bag does look like it could be functional. It's glued, but it has like the little slit at the bottom, but I would never risk it because you know, the uh, original mycene bags like this, they didn't open. So if you did, you would probably have stuff falling all out and plus there's no like no slit at the top part of it. But yes, here she is all styled up and looking like a background character i mean the my scene friend that we always we never knew that we didn't even need it like she's so cute like i love how everything fits her i love the aesthetic like she is so bad. she looks so cute with everything like she really made my day y'all and she made me happy i'm glad that i did decide to open her because it just got to the point where keeping her in box was doing me no justice and a lot of it was mainly because i wanted to salvage the box and keep it like you know um intact and everything but i was able to save a lot the box is still like in great condition i'll be able to preserve it and now i'm just going to go ahead and get all of her accessories and everything out the way i will do more freestyle videos later for y'all to look out for in the future if y'all want to see like i'll be styling some of my other um knock off my scene dolls and some of these pieces as well so y'all look for and i'll see y'all in the next one peace